This time I'm going to show you how you can install RAM, random access memory, into a laptop. So let's get into it. First begin with taking your laptop and flipping it over. And here you can see we have a service panel. Some laptops, especially smaller laptops, do not have a service panel and you'll need to open up the entire um, backside of the PC. But most computers have some kind of little service panel, like this one. Remove the screws for the service panel. And then you can carefully open up this panel. Just carefully open up the panel like that. Remove this. And here we can see we have the RAM. So we have one empty slot and one RAM stick there. All right, so if you have two RAM sticks here, you'll need to replace both of them. If you only have one RAM stick, you can stick in another one of the same size and speed. It's completely fine actually to have different sizes and different speeds for the RAMs in your PC, but it works best if they are the same speed and the same size. It's also important to check before you buy RAM what kind of DDR type you have on your RAM. Do you want to know what RAM version and what RAM speed your computer uses? Go to this homepage, uh, link in description, CPU Zeet. We will download and install this software. Accept to the license agreement, select download location and create a desktop icon and just install it. Run the application. And now you can go into memory. Here we can see we have DDR4. You will see DDR3 or whatever, DDR4, what you have there. You can see the amount of gigabytes you have as RAM, as well as uh, the frequency. If you want to see a little bit more comprehensively what the speed of your RAM is, you can click Ctrl Shift Escape to get the task manager. Here you'll go into the memory tab and you'll go down here. You can here see the speed of your current RAM. And there you'll have it. That's how to check what version of RAM you have. So we already checked that we have DDR4 on this particular PC. That's why we bought another. DDR4 um, stick. Now I had 8 gigabytes of RAM inside this one in the beginning, so I bought another 8 gigabyte stick as well. Then I'll just insert this into the system. If for example we had 8 gigabyte but this one was 4 and another RAM stick was 4, I would have removed both of them and replaced them with two new 8 gigabyte sticks. If you happen to buy a RAM stick that is slower than the one you currently have in the computer, it will be running at the clock speed of the slowest RAM stick you have. So you won't reach any benefit from the faster one if you only have one of them. All of the RAM sticks in a computer need to be the same speed. Also, um, you need to be a little bit careful with static, uh, static electricity. Now, um, I, have, I don't wear shoes, I touch the ground, I don't have plastic clothes, but you shouldn't do this on a surface that is plastic and you should avoid touching the motherboard. You can also buy special uh, wristbands that will cancel the static electricity by hooking it up to an element or whatever. In any case, it's usually enough to just, you know, touch the ground and not wear shoes. So, to insert a new RAM or to remove a RAM, you can see we have two little things here. We can drag them to each side, like that, and the RAM stick pops up. Now, one side of the RAM is uh, shorter and one side is longer. It's important to match it up with the slot here. You'll just push it in, gentle like that, until all the way in, and just push down. Now, we should install the new RAM. We'll do the same for this one, of course, as the old one we put back. Just push it in all the way and just push down. Perfectly like that. Now we have successfully installed the new RAM and we can put back the service panel, put back the screws and uh, 
we're done. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. And if it was, please leave a like and do comment if anything below the comments. Uh, if you have any questions or new videos you want to see. In any case, do stay tuned, that means subscribe, and I'll see you in future videos. This is your host, Jim Odessen, signing out.